Sup boys and girls, it's Brendan from Modern to Me, and today we're going to be learning something that is so important to programming. And this is introducing the logical part of programming. Right now we've really touched on more of like the, the algebraic sorts, and also some more of like the, uh, the scanner, the input, just some of the basics. But this is really getting into the logic part, and this is so important, so listen up. Okay, today we're learning something called if statements. And if statements essentially test the value of a variable and choose an action accordingly. So let me just type one out and show you what I mean. So this, you literally just type if, like you can see on my screen, just if, and it's gonna be all in purple, all nice. And then you type a parentheses. If you just type the opening parentheses, the closing one should come. And then in here, you type the test you want to perform. So you're gonna say, okay, if my variable Oh, actually, yeah, I need to make a variable real quick. We'll test an integer. So let's ha make an int test equal to input dot next int, like we learned, I think, two tutorials ago. And we put a semicolon there. And we are going to test this int. So we say if test. And now we have to say what kind of test we want to perform. So we can say if test is greater than zero and then so this is really this is the logical part the uh this is the operator so this is the logical part and it really just reads in english it's saying okay if this variable test is greater than zero and then what you do is you have this opening uh curly brace and then just hit enter the closing one should come up too and so there's a lot of these different kinds of operators let me just type them out for you if I have this uh, I'll comment this out here oops okay so there's greater than which is the one we're using then or the, excuse me the one we're using right now there is less than there is greater than or equal to you guess the next one, less than or equal to. There is equal to, and notice that this equal to is two equal signs. This is so important. I cannot tell you how many times I have just put one equal sign, and it is such a hard error to find because the compiler doesn't catch it because it, it's, it, it's pretty much correct syntactically. And so in a lot of programming languages that can screw you over. So always make sure you do two equal signs. I cannot stress that enough. And uh, the last one is exclamation point equal to, and this means not. This exclamation point always means not equal to. So these are the main ones you need to know. So we can carry on with our program now that we uh, have touched on these what it, six different logical operators. Okay, so we're gonna say if test here is greater than zero, let's just print out since I'm not out dot print ln we're just going to print out uh, let's say how about uh, I don't know just thanks for being so positive <laughs> okay that is so good I think that's perfect and then just so we know we're out of this this is called an if statement so now that we are out of this if statement we're just going to print something out again and we'll just say how about just like see you later oops that's going to bother me two spaces see you later okay and we still have the input closed i just kind of cleaned out my code i just kept the scanner and if your code looks like mine we're going to run it and hopefully this goes well okay so I didn't have anything to like tell the user to input. That's probably it's a shame on me. I should have said something, but let's just type a positive number. So I'll type five, hit enter. We see, thanks for being so positive. See you later. Okay. Now, if we run this again, control F11, run it again, and we type a negative number, negative 20, we're going to just see, see you later, because this test fails. This is only, this is only ran if test is greater than zero. If this equates to true, then it's going to run. If it equates to false, it's not going to run. Okay, let's run it one more time. And if we do zero, 
you're going to see just see you later. That's really what should have come up because it's just greater than zero. If this is greater than or equal to zero, then, uh, then it would equate to true and this thanks for being so positive would run. Okay, sounds pretty good, right? I think so. So like I was saying, this right here, this test is greater than zero, that's equate, that is equating to true. So what if we could just tell that if this if statement, that this value is true? Well, you can actually. If you type if true, you'll see that true is actually a keyword. And if you type false, you'll see that false is actually a keyword too. So these are two very important types in Java, true and false. These are called Boolean variables. We'll get into these more in a couple tutorials, but just know that you can actually just type if true, and if you would run this, if you type like an, any negative number, you'll see you'll still get things for being so positive. And if you look back at the code, that's because, well, it's not actually really testing anything. You're just typing if true. And if this was if false and you type a you type a, a, a positive number, it would not print thanks for being so positive because this test variable that is getting assigned to your input is actually not getting used at all if you just have if true. Just thought I would touch on that. It's kind of an important concept. One last thing. Let's do if test is greater than zero. And now we are going to do this might seem a little weird. And, and, it's called the ampersand actually, if you didn't know that. It's uh, on my keyboard and on yours, it should be above the seven. So if you hit shift on the seven, you'll get the and, and you're gonna type it twice. And then let's type test is less than, or less than, excuse me, or equal to 10. And then we can just print out um, that's, that's a, that's an easy number to say, <laughs> one to 10. Yeah, that really doesn't make sense. But what this is, is this is just saying is really just literally translate to and. So if you would actually type and if you could, if like this would work, like this is exactly what it's doing. It's testing if this test variable is greater than zero and this test variable is less than or equal to 10. So it's testing to make sure essentially that it's in this range uh, one to 10. That's what this test does right here. There are two, two uh, main kind of operators, I guess you could say, to help you uh, have more than one test within the same if statement. So there's this and, and then there's or, which is with two pipes. The pipe is above the backslash, which is above my enter key. So kind of a funky symbol that you really never use, but you do in computer programming. So two pipes, kind of like a, like mirrored pipes, I don't know what you want to call them, but they represent or in computer logic. So it's important to know that. So uh, let's, just, let's just test this program right here. If we do control F11, Let's type six. You see, that's an easy number to say. See you later. Now let's run this again. And if I were to type like 11, if you're not gonna get that, that's an easy number to say because it's not within that range one to 10. So that's pretty cool. If statements are really, really useful. And I think next time I'm gonna challenge you guys with a little coding exercise. So brace yourself, study up on these if statements, what I've shown you here, remember, these are pretty easy to remember. It's just greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, equal to with two equal signs, not equal to, and then and and or. We'll be working with these more in the later tutorials, I promise. I will not make I will not let you forget these. And join me next tutorial for a coding exercise. I'll see you guys there.